but I guess the strip club's probably been the most exciting thing. <laughs> We've had so much fun with that thing. And I have one person in that who is just really, you know, she can't get enough of it. And she's just, she comes up with these really cool things on her own, you know, that, that they're maybe bounced off. She'll try to take some part of the idea and then do her own thing. And strip club. We just started strip club, seeing that little resident stripper. <laughs> the reason why that came about is because I had thought about it. I went and heard um, Charlotte Agus. D'Agostino, mm -hmm. their Debbie Caffrey's friend. Yeah. Um, I had heard her talking about strip club. She had done it in her shop and told how she had done it, took her little class. And she said they had so much fun. You know, oh. <laughs> it, it's just a blast, you know. So I thought, well, that would be fun. I would like to do that. That would be a lot of fun. But I thought, oh, time constraints, you know, and how much work there is in it. Plus, I still had the knitting, and I'm teaching knitting classes. And I thought, I don't know if I want to get into that. Well, when I ended up losing my half my unit down the way there and having to move, um, I asked what's going in there, you know, because they had rented out half of them. They said, well, a nano brewery. And I went, hmm, we got a gun shop, now there's a nano brewery. The only thing that's missing is a strip club. <laughs> so I said, I can take care of that. <laughs> So when I advertised that, I said, the only thing is nobody's removing their clothes. <laughs> it's two and a half inch fabric strips. So that's how the strip club got started in March. <laughs> so, that's great. But we've had a lot of fun with it. This is one of the strip club yeah. quilts. Um, so far, I've been encouraging people to do their own designs. 